But one of the issues with social media, it's been pointed out by many people, is that I think maybe particularly Instagram, um, people look like they have a much better life than they really do. Right. So by design. Yeah, people are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. Um, even if they're not modifying the pictures, they're at least selecting the pictures for the best lighting, the best angle. Um, so people basically seem uh, uh, they're way better looking than they basically really are. Right. Um, and they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, man, there are all these happy, beautiful people, and I'm not that good looking, and I'm not happy. So I'm a suck, you know? And that's gonna make people sad. So when in fact, those people you think are super happy, actually not that happy. Some of them are really depressed, they're very sad. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. Um, and, and, and nobody looks good all the time, it doesn't matter who you are. Uh, so I think, I think things like that can make people quite sad. Well, you basically... um, just, just by comparison, because you, you just sort of you, you, people people generally think of themselves relative to to others. It's it's a we are constantly re re baselining our expectations, and you can see this say if you watch some show like Naked and Afraid, or you know if you just <laughs> go and try living in the woods by yourself for a while, and you're like, the learn that civilization is quite great. Has a lot, it's a lot of it. It's, people want to come back to civilization pretty fast on Naked well, and Afraid. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think one should generally err on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is developing AI safely. Like, this is extremely important. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. And nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. I'm not really all that worried about the short-term stuff. Things that are... I'm not, like narrow AI is not a species level risk. It, 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 will, it will result in dislocation, uh, in lost jobs and, it, you know, the, the sort of better weaponry and that kind of thing. But it is not a fundamental species level risk, uh, whereas uh, digital superintelligence is. Uh, so it's really all about laying the groundwork to make sure that if, if humanity collectively decides that creating digital superintelligence is the right move, then we should do so very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. This is the most important thing that we could possibly do.